Greetings to all of you and God bless you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, I want to share a story with you today that further confirms that the rapid rise of AI for artificial intelligence is paving the way for the coming image of the beast that will be able to speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. This is incredible, folks. I found this from my friends over at End Times Headlines. They just put out this article titled, China Just Unveiled the World's First AI Child. Let me read some of this to you guys. The world's first AI child developed by Chinese scientists possesses the emotional development and cognitive ability of a three or four year old human child. Tong Tong, which means little girl, is the name given to it by the scientists at the Beijing Institute for General Artificial Intelligence. According to local media, the AI child debuted late last month at the Frontiers of General Artificial Intelligence Technology Exhibition, where it, in, where it engaged with visitors and demonstrated its human-like qualities. Tong Tong is limited to the digital realm, yet, even virtually constrained, it possesses emotional intelligence, a vocabulary of more than 600 words, and the ability to learn autonomously like a child. It speaks, this is amazing, listen to this, it speaks and behaves like a three or four year old human right now, but since it's always learning, its capabilities are expected to increase. According to its inventors, Tong Tong also exhibits an emotional involvement level never before seen in AI programs. A program video shown at the ceremony stated that Tong Tong possesses a mind and strives to understand the common sense taught by humans. She discerns right from wrong, expresses her attitudes in various situations, and has the power to shape the future. With the use of artificial intelligence, machine learning, and natural language processing, Tong Tong can adapt its actions to the circumstances at hand. Its propensity to clean up its virtual environment, including wiping up spilled milk and correcting a crooked picture frame without being asked, impressed audiences in one instance. You heard that correct, folks. The world's first AI child was just unveiled in China. And why is this so significant in regards to end times Bible prophecy? Well, I want you to turn to the book of Revelation chapter 13. Now, in context here, during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, the rapture of the church will occur before the tribulation period begins. However, during the coming tribulation period, which we are not in yet, we see there is a system in place that will be able to track and monitor every single human on the planet. It's a system that will be able to control all buying and selling. And when you go down to the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verses 15, this is referring to the false prophet who's basically going to be the right-hand man of the Antichrist. Listen to this. And he, referring to the false prophet, had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Pay very close attention to this next part. That the image of the beast should both speak, speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Very clearly there in the book of Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, we see the false prophet who possesses immense power and authority. And one of the false prophet's abilities is the power to give breath or life to the image of the beast. Let me rephrase a portion of the verse paralleling the King James Version with the Strong's Greek. And he, referring to the false prophet, had power. Now, when you go to Strong's G1325, that is didymi, which means to give, to grant, to supply, to furnish. Life, in Strong's G4151, we see pneuma, which is the third person of the triune God. But it is not, but emulates his personality and character in a bodily form unto the image of the beast. Only God can give life. But in this verse, we read that the false prophet can perform a supernatural act 
that will grant consciousness or artificial intelligence to the image, enabling it to speak and control the masses. Can a demonic control of AI or artificial intelligence possibly inhabit the image? Absolutely. And that's why I just shared with you the story that I just shared with you guys. It's all getting set up. The technology is there, folks. Once the image of the beast is infused with life or artificial conscience, it demands the worship of all humanity. Those who refuse to bow down before this idol face severe consequences, including death. The image becomes a tool of coercion, convincing people to forsake their faith and allegiance to God and instead pledge their devotion to the beast. The bottom line I'm trying to make here, folks, is if we see the tribulation period continuing to cast its shadow on the earth right here and right now, and we see very clearly that the, the technology is now in place and artificial intelligence is doing what it's doing, this absolutely shows that the stage is getting set up for the type of system, system spoken of in the book of Revelation chapter 13. And if we know the rapture happens before the tribulation period begins, how close are we to the rapture? I would say a lot closer than people realize. And all I can tell you, if you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus in your life, just look around the world at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You'll see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back one day, very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast, just like the Titanic. You need to get on the light boat right here and right now. That light boat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is a day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Believe. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. Believe and do it now because Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven in the only name that can save you. Believe. Put your faith and your trust again in his blood. Believe he died for you. He was buried and he rose again. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming. And he's coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me. And God bless you all.